Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to Cooking with Chef Tarantino. Um, this is also not only uh, a channel for cooking and different techniques and stuff like that and recipes, but it's also a restaurant operations consultant channel. What we're going to do today is we're going to do a, a, a vodka risotto. On um, the video that we had did yesterday uh, for a dish called Chicken Arnold, we cooked off the risotto and I went through the steps on that. I kind of showed you how to do that on my last video. That video is called Chicken Arnold. Uh, so like, subscribe uh, to the YouTube page and um, you'll be able to see all the different things that we do along with some great tips um, on how to effectively operate your restaurant from any standpoint um, and things that uh, can save you hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars um, throughout the, uh, the life of your restaurant. So anyway, let's uh, get started with this uh, risotto. Um, for those of you that watched the other day, you saw how I did the risotto. I had some artichoke hearts. What I did is I just pulled stuff out of my refrigerator. Basically that I had some leftovers. I had a little bit of sauce. Um, we got some onion that we cut up yesterday. We still have our garlic. Um, so basically you can pretty much do this with anything. Remember I told you um, risotto is very versatile. You can cook it with anything, you, with any proteins, vegetables, whatever you want to do. It's a beautiful thing and it tastes fantastic. Um, so what we're going to do is I pulled out some artichoke hots. I got some sun-dried tomatoes. We had that in the dish uh, for that chicken arnold recipe that we did. Um, some onion and then um, we're going to saute all that up. And remember, uh, when you start off, when you put your oil in there and you're seasoning like you're going to see me do, Throw whatever you want in there. If you want to throw chicken in there, throw your chicken in there, saute up the chicken nice. Um, whatever you want. You always want to start off with all your vegetables and your protein when you do this risotto. And like I said, you can substitute anything. Right now, this is all I pretty much have. Everything else I have upstairs in the uh, freezer, frozen, so um, I don't have too much time to, uh, to work with that. But I just want to give you the general idea. Risotto is a beautiful side dish. Um, you can even have it as a meal if you're using chicken, beef, pork, whatever you want to do. Lamb, sky's the limit with risotto. Um, so please let me know where you're from, where you're watching from. Feel free to give me your feedback. And remember, um, I always tell everybody this, cook how you want to cook. Don't listen to what everybody else is telling you. Result, the end result is what's most important, how great it tastes. And of course we're cooking at home. So we're not going to be using different, uh, restaurant, uh, brand stuff or imported stuff. Some of it maybe, but, um, all this stuff you can get in your local grocery store. And remember this channel is to, to have fun and just to, just to cook and be creative. Do what you want. You see what I'm doing? You want to add a twist to it? Beautiful. If you want to start off doing it how I do it and then add your ideas to it, absolutely. This this right here uh, to, a, to a chef is like an easel to a painter, uh, to an artist. So this is what we start off with our blank slate and then we just start building on it and building on it and building on it and tasting as you go. Same thing with an artist when he's sitting in front of that thing and just painting out of his head and you know, and then magic happens. So. Um, in the, excuse me, <laughs> in the beginning, start off, you know, uh, following some of these basic recipes and, um, then just start adding stuff to it. Whatever you feel, whatever you feel you want to do, whatever your palate is inspiring you to do, uh, really. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little olive oil. Oh, by the way, I want to show you a trick. Under my cutting board, you ever have the problem with cutting boards to slide into a restaurant trick, especially on the steel tables. We have our cutting boards. Usually we would use, a. uh, uh, a restaurant uh, towel, um, wet the towel, fold it in half, set it on there, then you set your cutting board on there, and then it's not going to move anywhere, so it's not going to slide on you. Uh, it's a little trick, just thought I'd share that with you. All right, so what we're going to do to start this dish off, we're going to add a little bit of olive oil, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan, probably about a ta tablespoon and a half, maybe two. As you can see, I want to coat the bottom of that pan. A little bit of olive oil. Then we're going to take our beautiful Kamakoto knives, which I still have to put the, uh, the code on my uh, Facebook business page. And by the way, for those of you that aren't on my page that are on YouTube, go to Tarantino's Little Italy of Statesboro, Georgia, and you'll see all kinds of other stuff that we do. And that restaurant is in Statesboro, Georgia, like I said, at the Five Points Market, open four days a week so I can travel on the weekends, work on my videos, cook with artists, and, you know, just have a blast with it. All right, so we're gonna get an onion. I'm gonna do strips. I got some diced onion in there from yesterday, but I wanna do some strips. So these are nice little strips. You can make them as thick as you want. Remember, it's your preference. You're cooking the dish, make it how you want. This is how I like it. So little strips of onion in there. That's enough. I gotta keep remembering I'm not cooking for the restaurant here, so. 
put those back. I'm gonna add a few artichoke hearts. Remember, what do you, whatever you got in your refrigerator, throw in there. Experiment, have fun with it. Don't ever forget the seasoning. Remember, start off with your seasoning lightly until you have an idea for those of you that are beginners um, and experiment and playing around, make sure you start off seasoning lightly. Um, I've made that mistake plenty of times thinking I knew better and I didn't. And then you can always add more. And then when you cook that dish a hundred times, you don't even gotta think about it. The exact amount's gonna go in there every time. All right, so what we're gonna do is get some garlic. Real thin. That's gonna be enough. We're only making one order. I'm gonna chop the, the, dice this stuff a little bit. Remember, thumb always behind the fingers. Don't cut those fingers off, especially with sharp knives. All right, so we got a little bit of garlic in here. Man, I love these knives. Thank you, Kamikoto. All right, a little bit more garlic. All right, so we're gonna turn our heat on. Oh, you know what I forgot? The chicken broth. All right, so we're gonna let that heat up. Make sure that's on, it is. I'm gonna let that heat up, um, saute those onions and get that garlic going nicely. Um, and then we're gonna add our rice, our arborio rice, to, uh, which we had already in the last video cooked. Remember I put it on the plate, stuck it in the fridge, I obviously wrapped it, let it chill. And this is what we do in restaurant. And this is what I'll be doing this weekend in my special here in Statesboro, Georgia. I'll have a whole tray of this cooked off and then I'll pre-portion that and then we'll cook it so this way it's super fast for you. You'll see the difference in how fast this takes today versus the last video that I had posted. So, a lot of fun. While this is heating up, I'm gonna get me some chicken stock. Don't mind me while I move this for a minute. Uh. Okay, it's starting to smell good in here. or you want me to cook or whatever or go over please feel free to leave comments down below um, this is all interactive and uh, I love the feedback don't hesitate to ask anything or just jump on in and let's have some fun together I tell you what learning how to do this video stuff is not easy it took me I think a week just to figure out how, how to edit and splice and oh my gosh Unbelievable, so I'm basically going to school again being self-taught how to uh, do all this video stuff. All right, that's smelling real good. Let me get a, a spoon. I'm gonna add our rice. Remember, the rice is already done. Toss that up a little bit. A little bit of vodka. A nice little flame. Then we're gonna add a little bit of red sauce. Any red sauce, whatever you got in your house. You got homemade better. If you don't, that's okay too. Any jar sauce. Remember, this is for cooking at home. All right, so we got that going nicely, and that's just gonna give it that pink color, too, when you add the cream. Oh, I forgot to add the sun-dried tomato. It's not too late. Add a couple of those in there. All right, now we're gonna add a little heavy cream. See that? See how it's nice and pink? I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to spill all over my carpet. Nice and pink. I love hot corn tortillas. With that heat up, then we're going to add some cheese. Whatever cheese you got at home, any grated cheese will work. Mix this up a little bit. Okay. 
bing, bada bing, bada bing. Oh, yeah, that's looking beautiful. And we'll set this on the plate. You get this plate out of the way so you can see better. We'll finish with that. We'll finish with this and this. I might add a little more cheese. All right, remember I was telling you, you want this, when it starts bubbling, you can do it on a meat. I'm used to cooking on a high flame, but lower your heat so you don't burn it, so you get used to cooking with high heat. It's not ready yet because it's splashed, of course, but you want to let this reduce now so it starts to thicken. The cheese is going to help it thicken. The cream is going to start thickening. I didn't need the uh, chicken stock. I forgot I was doing the vodka rigolo. We basically deglazed the pan with the vodka. I don't know what I was thinking. That's sticking it up nicely. We'll get a fresh plate. Move this cutting board out of the way. See how it's bubbling up? Look how beautiful that is. It's gonna get nice and thick here. Remember, you don't want it to be, it's not a soup. It should hold pretty good on the fork. You don't want it running all over the place. Yeah, guys, feel free to check out all my pages. Um, I'm on TikTok, uh, Instagram, Celebrity Chef Joe Tarantino. Lots of stuff going on, traveling all over cooking. If you're interested in cooking with me um, or collaborating with your business, please feel free to reach out to me. I don't care where you're at, I'll travel to you. It's a lot of fun, we have a great time. Um, we do. We basically do a dish, I set up the two burners. You cook a dish, I cook a dish, I teach you how to do it. Um, and then afterwards, we make the dish usually takes about 15, 20 minutes tops. Uh, the live stream's anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, hour max. And then uh, we talk about you and your business, and if, depending on what kind of businesses we walk around, if you're a musician, artist, whatever, you do a song. Um, a lot of fun, and I absolutely love doing it. All right, this is about thick enough. Look how fast that was. How much time did it take? 12 minutes, 13 minutes to do this. And obviously, if I was in the restaurant, I'd be able to do this even quicker. All right, so we're gonna put this on the plate, see what this looks like. Now this, this would serve probably about, that's about three portions right there. Let's set this over here out of the way. And then what I would do is I would take a garnish, you could use fresh basil, you can use Italian parsley, whatever you want, sprinkle it all over the top. Um, and that is the vodka risotto. And it's absolutely beautiful. Let's taste this. Oh, a little bit of cheese on the top. It's gonna stand out nice because of the pink. And then we put a little bit of green on that to give it some more color. But uh, very simple. And like I was telling you, um, any ingredient that you have in your house that you would like to add in that, any protein, you start off the same exact way. Obviously, um, if you don't want to add the red sauce, you would deglaze not with the vodka, you would deglaze with your uh, chicken stock and um, cook with whatever protein is. Maybe I'll do a, a steak or a, a, a chicken risotto so you guys can get an idea what that's like. But super simple, super fast side. Um, you can't beat it, especially when you pre-prep the risotto. If we were making this from scratch, from start to finish, um, uh, the, the risotto, obviously we probably have about another 10, 10 minutes of cook time added to it. So when you cook off a risotto, cook enough, portion it up. Say if you're gonna have it twice that week, two different dishes and you wanna experiment, just cook a bunch up. Cook about three cups and it makes, makes a, a, three cups would probably serve 12 people. So you guys have a great day. Please like, share, subscribe, leave your comments, feedback. If you'd like to support me, this is how you can support. Just subscribing is fantastic enough to, uh, to help us out. And uh, follow me on Facebook, Tarantino's Little Italy. I'm on Instagram, Celebrity Chef Joe Tarantino. And uh, I can't wait to cook another dish with you. And I have a ton more restaurant uh, operations, consultant stuff coming to you too on this channel. So thank you guys so much i'll see you for those of you that live uh in the area where my home base is which is statesboro georgia i look forward to seeing you 
And uh, Tom Arnold, uh, excuse me, Tom Arnold, what is it, Joe Arnold, I uh, look forward to seeing you Friday night and serving that dish that we prepared on yesterday's video uh, for your lovely wife. So, God bless you guys. I will talk to you soon. And until uh, next time on Cooking with Chef Tarantino, God bless.